Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's All Me. We are back with new videos, new content, and today I got a really, really cool video to share with you guys. As I mentioned in my video titled, The Future of It's All Me, I have been working as a scare actor at a local amusement park called Adventureland for the last five weeks. Well, four weeks, we're headed into the fifth week right now. I was able to get the green light to take you guys in with me and give you a behind the scenes look at being a scare actor here at Adventureland's Phantom Fall Fest. So I'm going to show you the makeup process, the uniform process, and then kind of just like our round table conversations and things like that as we're all getting ready to go out into the park. And then I'm also going to walk through the park here shortly and give you guys a view of our haunted house, the Cornstalkers house, with nobody else in it. There may be a few workers getting things ready. I'm not really sure. Usually I don't go in until it's it's showtime, but I'm gonna walk out there and give you guys a daytime view of it, and then we're also gonna get some shots um, during tonight's uh, performance and while people and guests are there. And I'm really, really excited to bring this to you because I think it's a really, really uh, unique opportunity that Adventureland has given me. So hats off to Adventureland, hats off to my crew here. Uh, it's been an amazing, journey. It's been the most fun I've ever had working at a job in my entire life. The people here are so passionate, so professional, and I'm really excited to give you that peek behind the veil. So join me as we take a look behind the scenes of being a scare actor at Adventureland's Phantom Fall Fest. We are in the park now. I'm heading to our house. I'm going to take the long way. Just kind of show you guys. So we got one of our haunts here, Carnival, right next to the old space shot. And I have to say, it's crazy as a guy that grew up coming to Adventureland with family and friends, because now I'm walking through Adventureland completely by myself. Never thought that would happen. The other night I was finishing up with my shift and I was walking through Adventureland completely in the dark and only the rides were lit up. And it was just uh, something I never thought I was gonna experience. It was really, really cool. We have what is known as scare zones and scare houses. So we're gonna walk to the arachnophobia scare zone it's obviously spider themed and scare zones are more just for people to walk through and experience rather than have jump scares and more family friendly, if you will. And we do here at Finn Fall Fest, we do have the rides going at night or excuse me, all through the time at the park. And then this is the arachnophobia scare zone. You can see it's super spider themed. Then we have actors in here that are dressed up as victims. And there's one of our, our scary actors right there. What's up? What's up, brother? Come visit Carnival. Yeah, so we have victims that are in here. And obviously uh, there's like a spider queen. And there's several other houses spread around here. But mine is pretty close to the monster roller coaster, which looks insane at night. And actually when they take this loop-de-loop -loop here, you can actually see down into our haunted house, which is really, really cool. So we can hear the screams of people on the roller coaster all night long, which let's be honest, that just pumped us up even more. So now we're at the entrance of the Cornstalkers house, which is the one that I work at. And it's right next to the old cookie place. Walk down this way here. And it's right down here. You are now in the Cornstalker zone. And obviously this looks very different at night and very different with our scare actors in it. And I'm not gonna tell you where exactly people are located because I want the video later to showcase that for you. But you can see that a lot of work was uh, put into creating an atmosphere and an environment here for our Cornstalkers area. And the story behind corn stalkers is that there was a radioactive leak or spill of some kind, which is the green here on the hay that happened in Iowa and is affecting the crops and the farms and the farmers and the workers. And those of us who work here in the corn stalkers house are the ones that are affected by that. And you're inevitably coming in contact with them. Now we are entering the maintenance shop, which is really cool. Get your
your front desk here. Then you walk through, all sorts of things set up. And then you walk out, kind of like the remnants of some things left behind. As you can see, we're just chucking corn at people. And then you approach the barn. Fucking barn. Got some little accents here. Cause we all know what's going down inside this barn. You turn the corner and you see something that gets a lot of attention here, which is our hanging swine bodies, which is actually just a half of a pig. We have three of those hanging in this hallway here. Very realistic, very gory. There's this one here. Keep going. Then you walk down this hallway here, turn the corner, keep going through and again. You can see that the, the goo, the, the spillage has made its way through the barn and throughout the entire atmosphere of the Cornstalker's house. More decorations here. We turn and we end up at the farmhouse. As you can see, there are biohazard containers out front and some nice little curtains and some rocking chairs. Now let's go into the farmhouse. Oh boy, we have quite the scene in here. As you can see, we have a headless mother sitting in her chair. Looks like she was reading Life's Highway by Edgar Guest. Not really much anymore. We have daddy. And as you can see, looks like the heads are literally laying on the counter or the entertainment center. We have a headless baby who's clearly just not off its fingers or someone has not off its fingers. And then we're looking at more corn just everywhere. Move through here. We have some blood on the walls. We have corn. We have some cooking stuff. Just creating that atmosphere here at Fans of Fall Fest. Walk around the corner here. We got bloody handprints on the walls. And then we have this guy here, which is currently turned off, along with all the other sound effects and special effects and music. Uh, he runs and he comes at you at an unexpected time, which is really cool. And then we have this, which you can see the, the spill has affected all the way out here and down here. And we just are filled with biohazard material as we come to the exit of the corn stalkers. Now, just because you're out of it does not mean anything because at the very end, you meet Wilbur. So there you go. Actually, there you go. Here's here's Wilbur's head right there. And Wilbur's weapon right there, giant ax. So, and back here is uh, the command central. It's where we all gather together before and after the show. Take another jump through and we'll continue to showcase different things about the park and things like that. Oh, there's my boss. Move over this way. Jesse, how are we doing today? Good, sir. How are you doing? Good. Good. So that was my boss, Jake, and he is with some other Adventureland executives and just walking through the park, checking things. They actually come through our houses frequently just to make, th make sure that uh, things are going properly, that safety measures are being taken, and uh, crowds are being good. And Because we get some pretty rowdy people. There is alcohol served here at the event. And some people just don't know their boundaries, so they uh, tend to get a little, little bit rowdy. We will move on and show you some more of the empty park before this place is filled with Halloween goers. All of these rides are lit up. I mean, this one's already lit up, but at night, it's just a really cool atmosphere that Adventureland has created for, for all the guests of Phantom Fall Fest. We'll take you through the, the main street here. Guests aren't in the park for just under two hours, so after this, we will shoot over to uniform and get all uh, costumed up. 
apply a little bit of charcoal to the face as others get full faces of makeup and then get ready for showtime. Here is Main Street of Adventureland. Completely empty. As you can see, some of the storefronts are like cobwebbed up and things like that. Really just trying to, you know, keep that uh, atmosphere going. I've never noticed this coffin before. I literally have never seen that coffin. That's been here the whole time, right? Yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> this going on Facebook or? Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. Oh, cool. What's yeah. on YouTube? Uh, it's on the... There it is. That one? That's right. Nice. Yes, sir. Sorry, you want to get actors too or no? Yeah, I'm Pigman. I'm Pigman and Cornstalkers. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, sir. What is, your, uh, what is your character? I'm like this crazed clown. I, I call it a messed up joker. Haha, <laughs> messed up joker. This is like the official mascot here of Phantom Fall Fest. It's on the t-shirts and a couple of the other merchandise items and it greets people right as they come through the entrance. That right there is this man, <laughs> the messed up Joker. That is awesome, man. If I see you later all make up, I'm definitely get you back on camera. Thanks, dude. All right, buddy. Scare acting is no joke. Like it's extremely physical. It's extremely exhausting, but it's extremely rewarding. And you're gonna find that the overall reward that you reap at the end of it is so much bigger when you invest every ounce of yourself into what you're doing. And so every night I try to leave everything in that house and it's high heart rates, deep breathing and uh, lots of sweat, but it creates an amazing atmosphere that we are very, very proud of. So this, this is my homie Wade. He is a giant rat in Carnival. You gonna keep him moving. My, my, my boy Jess here, the, the director, he's he gonna keep him moving. <laughs> and you know, this is the man, the man right here. This is the Spielberg of the Hall House. <laughs> and he's gonna call out these fools, these people that's got big heads, you know, call them out. And uh, so yeah, so I, I, I'm, 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 I'm honored to work with Jesse here. He te he's teaching me a lot of things about haunted houses. And uh, so it's definitely, definitely, uh, and, and a, uh, uh, an art on how to scare people without touching them on the shoulder. <laughs> or keeping them at an arm's length. Or arm's length. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be tight. Always. Yeah, Wade, Wade and I really enjoy working together. Um, we have very like-minded personalities and um, we're both in the filmmaking scene. So we're gonna head in here and get our uniform. All right, hello ladies. Hello. We are filming today for It's All Me. So this is Jill, and I don't, I can't remember your name. I'm Serena. Serena. And these are all of the uniforms for everybody. All of these mini things, costumes. <laughs> wow, they've always told us uniform rooms. So I have to go by the technical term. Uniform rooms? Uh -huh. I have never heard that. I've always heard wardrobe or costume. That's, that's the classic term. Which is the world that you're from. Classy, exactly. Right? <laughs> Listen, take it from Jill. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> all right, one five. I need one five. One five? My uniform. Oh, Excuse oh, me, my costume. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you oh. filming right now? Look at this. Look at this guy. Trent is one of a kind. Trent is one of a kind. There we go. We got the goods now. And? This this is the man. This is the the man. We work with the local place called Slaughterhouse. And Ian is the man behind Slaughterhouse. And he has brought that swag to Adventureland this year. And a lollipop. Do and, a, and a lollipop. That was all Jill. <laughs> so yes, we were we were filming a behind the scenes look here at Phantom Fall Fest for my YouTube channel. Oh, well. Yes. Hello again. Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> We're going to go get uniform to get ready to scare the crap out of people. Fantastic. Yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> Here we are. This is the crew. This is my boss. We got Meg Han. Call me Han. And we got Australia. She didn't know who was talking until I said Australia. <laughs> so Megan is our house manager and also in charge of getting makeup done for so many people. 
So we got our changing rooms here. So let's get our uniforms on and we will go from there. What are you filming? Uh, I'm filming for my uh, YouTube channel. Oh, I'll yeah. follow you. Let's see. He oh, wants I'm to on see. it? You're on it right now. Because <laughs> I'm filming you for my YouTube for channel. You're filming for YouTube right now? Yeah. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so, okay, you're going to make me stand up. This is Victim. Yes. The first victim that ever came to our house. The first couple weekends that we had open, there was a lot of people that didn't come. Well, she was our very first victim, and she freaking killed it. Now, these yeah. two together oh, yeah. have evolved to a whole nother level. It's because we're roommates. All right, yeah, so we're your roommates, so obviously you guys know each other very well. Yeah. And, yeah, we went to school together, too. and you went to school together and go to school together. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, when I worked with you guys last Sunday, you blew my mind <laughs> at just how far. Because seriously, her first night, she just laid on the ground and, and I like like rep, repped her shirt and then she tried to run away from me. She would scream a lot, destroyed her voice. Yeah. I remember how, just like your third week? Second. Second week? So your last weekend was your first weekend? No. No, this, this is your third. third. Okay, so this is your third. That's what I was thinking. And to see you guys blossom has literally been one of my favorite parts of this job. So looking forward to showcasing you guys because you're killing it. Thank you. So now I'm going to put my charcoal on my face. Okay, have fun. <laughs> it is... Makeup time. And yes, men do put on makeup when the time is, is fitting. This is uh this is Scarecrow, also known as Kyle. And he's my dude. And we get each other hyped up before we go out and destroy people mentally. Alright. Oh, and we are joined by the methed up clown again. What's up, Jesse? <laughs> You're everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. You're in my dreams. I got you, brother. I tell you, getting charcoal in your eye feels really good, too. Really good. Almost as good as the weather. Yeah. What's that? Literally, charcoal in the eye. Feels great. It's a consolation prize of getting to work here. Now, for those of you wondering why we are putting makeup on, Kyle and I, we both wear masks and we black out our eyes to become the character because if I'm supposed to be believable as a pig man or a mutant pig, then there's Uncle Brad. <laughs> you got a man purse. <laughs> Only for equipment purposes. <laughs> Got a thumbs up for that one. If to be believable as a character, we need to blend into that character. And while I don't know that a, a mutant pig would have typical Caucasian male eyes. And now the big man has sat down. This is Kevin. Sir, we are filming for YouTube right now. And this, this, this is my true partner, my OG. We actually had orientation together and connected right off the bat. And him and I manned the barn together and make sure that the people who come inside the barn want to leave the barn because they're terrified. We make them run, we make them scream, and we make them urinate themselves. Yeah. They yes. Also, they often leave pretty quick. They do, yeah. yes. They don't, hang, they don't want to hang out with us. No, sure. I don't, and I think we're very, very welcoming. Yeah, yeah, it's welcoming, that's the right word. Yeah. yeah, and in another life, Kevin sells trucks down south, and the way he laughs as his character is one of my favorite things about this job. I listen to this man tell people to walk through the swines and then he yeah. deeply laughs and it's literally, it just makes my night every single time I hear it. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, we are all makeup up. You can see we got all the charcoal on here, kids. Now we got to go get the blood splatter on and we will move on to the next piece of the puzzle. Oh, there's Victim. <laughs> right, a little, but like... Oh, yes, yeah, sir. This is John Boy. What's up? What's up, guy? This is a typical, typical day here. After we get costumed up, we get squirted with a bunch of colorful liquids, preferably that look like blood or goo. Preferably. Old man Russ is here. Oh yeah, I'm here. This, this is the old pig mask for pig man here. Oh, look at the snout. That's pretty cool. So we showcased Victim as she was getting her face done. 
And this is a. Com- I'm sorry, Australia. Excuse me. Sorry, you? I've been I've been talking to a lot of wow. people. <laughs> wow. No, this is Australia because her name is Sydney. Yes. <laughs> That looks fantastic. I think it's the best it's looked yet. Yeah. Holy crap. That's amazing. My parents are coming, so I'm going to scare the piss oh, out of them. Oh, yes. Let's oh, yeah. go. Oh, yeah. Man, Megan killed it. She really did. She That's does. our boss. That's she our boss. She always does. That's our boss. She always yeah, wow. Does. Did you legit get, like, swiped yeah, by I, a tiger? Yeah. I did. Which is good. Ooh! Actually, the tiger's name was Brenna. Brenna? <laughs> she AKA, needs to cut her nails. AKA victim. Yes, she does. She really <laughs> does. <laughs> All right. Tell me what this is, Uncle. Uh, gross mask. <laughs> I love it. So, gross mask. So I get Slender Man and I rehauled it myself, stone washed it beforehand, and then she did this to it. That is beautiful. All right, so after we are done with uniform and makeup and getting all sorts of bloodied up, we all come to our table here and we do our round table conversation time where we just chill and hang out as a unit, as a family here in the Palace Theater at Adventureland. And everyone else is basically grouped together and just uh, does their little dances and things, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then we all get together and we do stretches. Yeah. And that's I probably I probably should I probably should. We it's like doing yoga together, and Uncle Brad is fantastic at it. <laughs> yeah. And so that's a, that's a fun little aspect. We do some breathing exercises and screaming and things like that. We got victim having a salad over here. It's really hot. She always has salad. Oh, what did you just say? Her salad is hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I it, missed my mouth. He was like, is it hot? And I was like, yeah. It looks like she spit it out because it was too hot. It, it literally, it looks like it came in your grandma's casserole dish. It literally looks like her grandma's casserole dish. Oh, she just dish. has aesthetic with these like, containers. It's you a, don't? a what you don't pleasing? Aesthetically, aesthetically? Okay, yeah. No, I do. My wife does well. I also just really like butterflies. I was gonna oh, that's true. <laughs> I just need to say, how often can one come to work and sit at a table while people are eating a salad and talking, and we're just covered in blood, a scarecrow mask, bloody arms, you know, bloody head. We got. I call him Hayface, is what I call him. John Boy Hayface. We got Trenton over there. We got uh, we got big guy, big man Kevin, Scarecrow of the Barn. This is literally what we do for a living right now. <laughs> Not many jobs can you come and just sit covered in blood. Think about this, all y'all fans of his. Think of this though. We enjoy doing it because this is what we love to do. That's right. And you know, for for him to get into this subject, it would be great for any of you guys to get into it as well. Absolutely. So I man. think you guys would enjoy it. Wise words from Trenton, the maintenance man. What are you here for? The kisses. The kisses, yes. Yeah, so we do get kissed a lot here, which is really weird. He is here for scaring the hell out of him. All right. What about you, John Boy? Scaring people and the kisses. Yeah, you, you. I think you've been kissed the most, which is yeah. really weird uh, to me. I, 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 I took the most I selfies. Cried, I cried, I cried, yeah. <laughs> All right, most selfies, selfies. Yeah, most I selfies. I took a selfie with an old lady last weekend. Oh it was one time. You know, it is last weekend, so if people want to take pictures with me, I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. You know, screw it. Like, I just want to have fun now, you know? Yeah, like, if you want and to push I, a little kid down? Yeah, screw it. it. If I want to punch him, I'll do it. If we want to kidnap one because it's acting up, we'll just grab him and take him. Wow, this will go on the internet, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our big queen, Megan, makeup artist, manager. She took her time out of her day to make these. She, she didn't make the actual thing, but she put No, but she on. made these little ornaments, ornaments keychains, and, and they're little cards. And then a card. Yeah, then we yes. get a rose. Get you a manager yes. like Megan. Literally. So our, our house manager, Megan, is amazing. She's also known as Han, because they misspelled her uh, her name tag. It's M-E-G-A-N is her name, but it's M-E-G-H-A-N here. So we call her Han. So that's, um, that's from Han. Han, thank you. Thank you for being the fearless leader that you are. We have the coolest house and the best people. We do. And we'll, and we'll say that with these other houses around us. We have the coolest house and the best people. That's right. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, nothing much. Just yeah. ready to scare some people. This man here is known as Speedwalker. Him and I are the fastest walking cr- yeah. people in our entire crew. Yeah. Yeah. When we're released at the end of the night, him and I are faster than every single person behind us. We beat everybody back to the dressing yep. room. And it's with no effort at all. Yeah. It's just natural, right? Yeah. That's right, brother. Yeah. Speedwalkers unite. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 13th night, last weekend. Let's go, baby. Woo! Woo! Everybody, arms up. Oh. Like I had this. 
I'm gonna pull my suit up. About five days since you did this. And side to side. That's right. This is Banana Man, also known as Wizard of Oz. Yes. This is my other partner. We got we got Kevin, the big man in the scarecrow outfit, right when they walk in the barn. Then they meet me. And then we kind of meet the victims, I guess, sometimes. Sometimes. But then Banana Man here, he is my supporting cast to help aid in my scare and drawing attention away from me. And then I draw attention away from him and then feed them right back to Oz. And it's yeah. just this wonderfully choreographed symphony that we have fine tuned over these last four it's weekends. A, it's a nice, it's a nice go around. It's it like is. You get them from every single side. Yep. And it's like, there's always like a distraction and the distraction within the scare is, gives it a better scare because then they're so focused on something else that they just don't see what else is coming. Exactly. All right, we got a few minutes until showtime. So I'm gonna walk through here one last time with all the sound effects and everything going on. And then we go and get ready to scare. Also, we work next to a restaurant and it smells like food the entire time we're here. It's ridiculous. Big cab, he's taking his position. Getting ready. Yes, sir. Hey! <laughs> How many people are watching? <laughs> Nobody. It, it's, it's not live. No, it's not live. No. Yeah, I'll edit it all together. Getting her corn ready. I am. Look at this. This is it's, see. It's everywhere. Tell me what you do here. The only thing I am allowed to say is corn. So I jump out of that window and scream corn. But if people throw corn at me, I come around here and scream corn. So I love it. Yeah. That's Australia for you, ladies and gentlemen. And then this guy. <laughs> And then we have the war drummer. Yes, this dude gets me hyped all night long, banging uh. on these drums, like a Viking. 
Gotta warm them up. Babe. That, that's right. I don't think Wilbur's here yet. No, Wilbur's not here yet. All right, let's get that mask on. Let's get to work, baby. Where, guys Ladies yeah follow me please orderly exit the base as soon as possible a safety alarm has been activated this go ahead and go right through that pass. curtain right there thank you right through the black curtain guys Ladies and gentlemen, right through that black curtain exit the base you coming this way a safety alarm has been activated. And right through the black curtain this there this way. Yep. Really keep going that way guys yeah. yep keep going yep. Ladies and gentlemen. 
We're clear? Okay. Clear. I don't know what's going on. We got more? Ladies and gentlemen, please orderly exit that everybody? the base as soon as possible. A safety alarm has been activated. This is not Hello? a test. Anybody in here? Anybody in here? Ladies and gentlemen, please orderly exit the base as soon as possible. I think we're good. We're clear. Get out. Exit the base as soon as possible. A safety alarm has been activated. This is not a test. Thank you. Watch the pudding back here. Right. What? It's it's a technical thing. If nothing happens, we just look back to your spot there soon. Nothing happened. Okay. Hey, I think we killed it though. Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah, a few poppers all back here. What? A breaker saw my pop back here. At least we got everybody out. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, everybody got out quick. That was great. Wow, what a time to start recording. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Make sure you stay in character and okay. really work it and get on them, okay?
Yes! <laughs> You're not. <laughs> phone is it? An iPhone 13. Okay. okay. Did you find an iPhone 13? She lost an iPhone 13. iPhone? iPhone 13 is lost. So if someone comes and brings right. it here, right, I just right. wanted to let you know. It's somewhere okay. back here. Hey, we got a, a lost iPhone. If anyone brings a phone near you guys. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, we had, a, we had a lady come through and ask about it. So. Okay. I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay. Hell yeah.
stay for a while. Oh, come on. Let's be friends.
pig, right, dude? Yeah, I got so many pictures. Was it scared of you or not? I got a lot of high fives. Yeah. And then I made a couple, I made a little bit. Gas man at your service. <laughs> Where you going, little guy? 
Come on, don't run away! Don't touch my stuff! We are officially done, ladies and gentlemen. Bittersweet moment. That is sad. That wraps it up. Let me see. Wow, my my lens is destroyed. All right, that wraps it up, kids. That wraps uh, Phantom Fall Fest 2022, the first inaugural Phantom Fall Fest here at Adventureland with my crew. This is the crew, the Corn Stalkers crew, my people that killed it every single weekend. Guys, show some love to the camera. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Banana Man coming in. Yes, indeed. Oh, here comes Megan. <laughs> Megan. Yeah. When you're down south selling trucks, what do you say? Built Ford tough. Yeah! <laughs> I don't even drive a Ford, I'm a Chevy guy. <laughs> <laughs>